Okay, now I was at this play that I've loved so much, I've seen it twice now, Anne Juliet. So Anne Juliet is a play where what if Juliet didn't die with Romeo? And a lot of it is influenced by Shakespeare's wife and her name is Anne Hathaway. Then I did a little digging. What'd you learn? There's a conspiracy theory. <laughs> okay. About your husband. <laughs> and I feel like I actually just need to bring up the picture that okay, he let's, might let's... be William Shakespeare reincarnated. Well. Because look. <laughs> It's kind of nuts, right? I thought it was... I mean... It, it took seeing the photo for I me to go, oh, I should take this seriously. <laughs> it's weird, right? Hot. I... <laughs> <laughs> We're not commenting on that. It's like, <laughs> We're back! <laughs> No, it would not. It would be great if it was true, but even if it's not, still kind of great. <laughs> I love that your husband. I just does. love that he's. Listen, he, he's cute. I don't want to like go on about it, but yeah. The last time we talked, the way you talked about him. I'm blushing. And you've been together. <laughs> you just celebrated 11 years. Uh, 11 years married, 15 years together. 15, 15 years together. And you know what's crazy? Okay, this is what this is what's really crazy. His and my second date was at your Halloween party where you were dressed up as Tippy Hedren from, the, from birds. the birds, which is an inspiration for my character in Eileen. Ah, it's so, <laughs> so it's so crazy. And that was your second date. We were been destined together. for each other. I know, I'm telling you, this is a thing. Like 15 years, what do you think that you do with and for each other? that keeps you speaking about each other in this way that's so admiring and loving. You twinkle when you speak of him. I've seen you do it before. I, I mean, I think, first of all, I think it's a little bit, a little bit just kind of luck of the draw, but we're just really lucky that we keep growing together. But um, we have this thing, we actually have a tattoo, and the idea is that individually we're whole, but together we're more. And so, oh, thanks. And, uh, and so, um, so I think that it's just that thing about like, I don't expect him to complete me. And I don't think he expects me to complete him. Like he's his own person, I'm my own person. And we choose to be together because we believe we make each other better. And this union is something that we both want to participate in. But I just watched an interview. I hope this is cool to bring up about you getting interviewed by Johnny Carson when you were seven. Yes. And I was I just remember like, it how, very well. I, I mean, which is wild to me. I tripped but, when I walked out too, which really humbled me because I was already like, you know, seven years old, 1982, The Tonight Show. And I walked up to the thing and I ate it really hard. <laughs> so I was like- So I'm laughing because I'm just like, yes, you have YouTube to prove it. Like it's such a- but, Exactly. Um, but that, I wasn't laughing at the idea of a seven year old eating it on The Tonight <laughs> Show. Oh, I am. You monster. Um, but no, no, but you were just, I was just marveling at you. Cause I'm just like, you're so quick on your feet at seven, so authentic, so speaking from your heart and like making a genuine connection. And it was just, and then I watch you doing this and you know how much I love, you know how proud I am Oh my of God, you. you know how much I love you too. This is like life affirming. <laughs>